bracing to go green, the mining industry weighing the potential impact of President Biden's green energy push. Grady Trimble is on the ground this morning. He's in a mine in Charleston, West Virginia. Grady, good morning to you. Good morning, Maria. This is a thermal coal surface mine, the kind of coal that's burnt to create our electricity. The United Mine Workers of America, that's a union that represents miners, has essentially endorsed Biden's green plan as long as there are guaranteed jobs for those displaced miners who are out of a job right now. They feel a little differently about that here, though. This is Ralph Ballard. You own this mine. You directly employ about 40 people here, more than that, actually. And uh, you're concerned about where things are headed under Biden. Uh, ex exactly. Uh, we're, really, we're very skeptical about what the plan says and the future of all of our m uh, workers here and their families. If you look at the numbers, under President Trump, mining jobs ticked up the first three years he was in office, then fell off as demand for energy fell off during the pandemic. Uh, what do you think this would do if this vast infrastructure bill is actually passed? And also, I know there's a lot of uncertainty in your mind because you don't know if it'll be passed. Yeah, that's correct. It would be devastating, no question about it. But hopefully our congressional delegations, uh, Senator Manchin, uh, Senator Capito and our uh, congressional uh, our congressional people will, will take a hard look at this and put the facts where the facts are and see what the true costs are going to be uh, on, this, on this bill. Senator Manchin has said that he supports mining jobs. He wants to keep them and have these green jobs supplement. Uh, what do you think about that? Do you uh, have faith that, I mean, his vote's really important on this bill and all others? Well, you know, it, I'd like to see the facts, uh, how it works. Uh, I, we're not against that, obviously. Uh, I think there's room for both coal and solar and wind and nuclear and the whole package. I think that's what we have to have to make a, a, a safe, energy-efficient country. Well, we appreciate the time, Ralph. So, Maria, some uh, some concerns here, certainly. So we'll see where things go going forward, but uh, certainly something to keep an eye on as this bill keeps uh, chugging along. All right, Grady, thanks very much. Grady Trimble this morning in Charleston.